Hello everyone, my name is Yogesh. In today's lecture, we're gonna learn about data processing with Python and SQL 2017. And this lecture is for beginners. Few things before starting the lecture is, one, it's okay if you don't know the Python. We will be covering, it's, it's the minimum thing you require, like you don't even require Python if you don't know, still you will be able to understand the example. Second lecture will be totally practical, so don't need to worry about, I won't bore you with this a lot of theory. So it will be minimum theory. And then we have, uh, like we will be doing a real world problem to know why it is better to use Python instead of SQL queries at that particular problem, like to solve that particular problem. So let us start uh, with our next slide. Now the question comes, why Python with SQL Server? Now first of all, Python is great and easy to use for data processing. When I meant by data processing, it not about querying the, uh, like you can say filtering out the records, it's all about like transformation, like suppose you want to do period operations. So in SQL Server, we do have period, but if we have to do a lot group by period, like multiple values into a period, then it becomes a little creepy. But there, for doing that data processing, Python has a lot of support and that will be our, you can say, real world problem that I will be showing you in this example. Now the second thing comes is SQL Server 2017 support Python as an external service. So you can pass Python script, it will automatically pass it to the Python service to execute and give you output back. So it is totally SQL Server 2017 feature. So we are not doing anything which is out of the scope. Third, to execute this one, we need this SP called SP execute external script. So this is a simple SP we will be using for executing our Python script. Okay. And uh, one more thing, there is no programming also required because I will not be using any if files on it. So I will be directly using some functions in Python which do the data processing. Okay. So it is easy for you to understand. Now for enabling Python service in SQL Server setup, you once even whenever you are installing it here you just need to check it like this is the python service and it will gonna install okay so it's not that difficult task while installing 2017 you can do with that now this is just one introduction slide after this we'll be doing our you can say practical now the basic type which we have in python are one are at atomic data types like integer float string boolean these are supported Second comes is tu tuples. Tuples are the, uh, you can say, a list of heterogeneous data types, but you cannot modify. So they are kind of a read only. You can delete them, but you cannot change the value. Then coming to the list, list is a collection of heterogeneous data type. List can have integer along with the string. It can have an image. It can have an object. It can have a boolean into that. Okay. So these are the basic data types. Then we have array. Array is similar to any other programming language. It's a homogeneous uh, collection of homogeneous data types. Okay. Then we have something called NumPy array. So uh, first four, we won't be using it. We will be just using this data frame today, pandas, okay? Just for introduction, I want to give. Then there is something called NumPy array, which is similar to the array, just they provide a lot of extension method. Like you want to sort it, they have a function called sort. So a lot of, you can say different operation, if you want to do on some collection, NumPy array is one of the best for that. Then coming to the last that is called as pandas, which is actually a library which provides you data frame. Data frame are just data tables. So whenever we are reading some data from SQL Server, it will go into some table. So that table is called as data frame in Python and that is supported by this pandas. Okay. So this is the basics what we need to start. Okay. Okay, and now one more question like what we need. First of all, as I told you, you need to install SQL 2017 with Python services. Second, you need to install Anaconda release of Python 3.5. Here are the links in the description. Also, I will mention the links. Just download as per your Windows version and install it. It's that simple. Okay, now let us jump to the pr uh, practical. To start today's demo, you need few things. One, you need SQL Server 2017. Second, you need Anaconda release of Python 3.5, so you can just download and install it. So there is no any uh, prerequisite other than, than these. So just you need to install this and then we are good to go with the example. Now let us jump into our practical. For today's demo, I have taken one simple example. I have created a sales table which has some sales data. The data is like I have the year. And then I have the term like quarter one, quarter two, quarter three, quarter four, and so on. And then I have a client. What are my clients and what are the sales in that quarters? Okay. So now this is my base table, which I will be processing first through SQL Server. And we'll see what is the query for that. And then we'll compare the equivalent alternative in the Python. And then we'll merge Python and SQL both together. Okay. So now as this data is simple, I have year, term, 
client and the total sales. Now suppose I want to generate a matrix. Now generating matrix is a little bit complex. Now let me just show you if you don't know what is matrix. Matrix is I am converting some data into columns and some data into the row header. Okay, let me let us just see the output first. So here what I have done is I got my year client and I have turned quarter one quarter two quarter three as my column headers and at the end of total I want to get the total amount of it like what happened with the each quarters so it's very simple so let us just execute along with the normal data first let's see what was the normal data in the normal data says year term term as a column so it has um, these values quarter one quarter two, quarter three then we have client and then we have the sales so what I did was I create converted this year and client as a row header and I converted these quarter one quarter two quarter three and the sales into the column headers and the values are the sales and here I did the total one so if I look into the query, so if this uh, if this query you haven't done before like pivot and all, still just see the size of query. First thing I need to do a cube operation to get my you can say all all kind of totals and grouping. And then once I got that uh, you can say my cube done, then I have to use pv8. So cube output is in such a way like year, quarter, client, sales, and the total something like that. Like a lot of things do cube do's so it you can say it aggregate all the dimension kind of that thing if in simple words okay then we have to do pivot so that we can transform our data okay now this is easy if only I have this year and client to be as a row header if I have more things to like need to add into the row header the same query become more complex okay now for Python what I'm doing is I will just show you an example I have the same data in my CSV file so I have my year quarters and this uh, you can say client and then I have the total sales run so it's the same value what we have in there now one wait a second let me just minimize it now this is called spider so when you install the anaconda Python then automatically you will have the spider here so you can open it so it's a simple console let us get back to the desktop so when you open it it will open in such a way let me just clear my view output yeah sorry okay so now in this one what I will be doing is I will be first importing the pandas as I told you panda is for data frame so we need to import it okay so when I do import automatically it imports the pandas now pandas provide me function to read from CSV okay currently first we are doing in Python then we'll merge it with SQL Server. okay so now once I did this I need to read data from this CSV which I just showed you this CSV uh, sorry this one sales CSV so we'll be reading data from that and put into the data frame so once I read it here it adds the variable so in the variable explorer so if I double click I can see it has the same data what my table was having year term client and sales this is the index like just a kind of a row number you can take off but here you can understand it's the similar data what we had in SQL Server now you remember like to generate the metrics what was my query size it's too big and as I told you more things I include more complex it will become now in Python we have function called as cross tab so in the cross tab what I am passing is cross tab so these are the row headers so I am providing year and client as a row header which was my similar into SQL so these two are my row header okay then I am saying convert term into the columns the second uh, parameter says like what you want to turn into the columns and the values values is the sales because that even in our case we have to show in this one and do the total so these are the values these are coming from the sales column okay and then I say aggregate the fun use the sum function to aggregate and margin is okay like let me explain you margin like let us first remove the margin and see what is the output and then we'll do the margins okay so if I do F9 now it added one more data frame because I said like add into the cross tab out so if I do here you see it did the cross apply for us it converted year and client into the row header and gave us the total like you can say uh, filled up the value into the quarter so it did the pivot thing which we wanted and if you see it is just one line 
okay first i pass the row header second i pass the column header third i pass the values and fourth i pass the function which i want to do now what is margin now in sql output we have this total column which we have generated now i want to get this column there as well so if i want to get that column i will use the margin so margin automatically adds row margin and column margin let us do expand it so see it added one column called as all so what it is doing it is having the total of all and here at the bottom also it is giving us total so these value are in exponents so it's very difficult to read i can understand but we can print also wait a second let us just print this guy so that we can see what we have in our cross tab print gives us more better view of it so now if i expand so here you see now here you can see year client and the values in the red and the total like uh, we have the total column as uh, like all like here but there we had total but that's okay and then we have total of all the quarters at the bottom okay so here you see and see like it is just one line function so and it's not that complex because if i have to explain these queries to someone uh, who are not uh, familiar with cube and pivot it's very difficult okay so now in this one python it's my one liner one okay now once your script in python is ready we can just directly copy paste our script just the data which is we are reading from csv need to come from the sql table that is the only thing okay extra so now as i told you initially this is the sp which we need to execute the external script this is the sp which we'll be using so here first you need to provide language as python why python we have to specify because r is also supported r is also one more language okay now here you see i did the same imports pandas and second in cross tab i am doing on my data my input sorry in my one i was doing on the data because i have imported csv into the data okay data frame so in this case my input will come from a query here first i said what is my input data name that is my input and this is the query which i want to input so what it will do is it will run this query supply this out input to this my input and it will automatically get converted into a data frame okay so now once it supplies then my query remains same here what i'm doing is year and client as a row header term as the column header and sales as the values and aggregated function is the sum and then i have the margin okay and these two operation i need to you can say get uh, to sort them and this reset index is important otherwise uh, it won't be able to supply you the data okay so just remember these two are important in our case of cross tab not everywhere and once our output is completed in this cross tab i will put into my output variable now my output variable is an output data name so here i supply it okay and with the result set i am specifying what are my column names because if i execute without this let me just first execute without this and see what is the output it will take a while let us just wait it will take few seconds to execute So here you can see the output but here column names are not coming now to make this column name appear i need to tell my result set like i want to name first column as year second as a client third as a quarter one quarter two quarter three and their data types and last one as the total so if i execute this the same now now i will be getting along with the column names so here you see i got the column names along with that so here i can get the total easily now this was one of the best example to show you one more thing i will just show you now in this i have put one condition something to remove some output now let me just execute this sql query again now here you see i have total at the row you can say at the bottom of the complete data and i have in the you can say columnary total and then i have a yearly total also now here python lacks so currently we don't have we have margins but we don't have like if i want to generate summation between these two so how i can achieve the same in python okay so let us go back to the python so till this example you were clear like it did the cross tab and we got the output okay now the second thing what i need to do is i need to do one more group by but here 
what I am doing is I am doing only with the year okay and the term and the quarter because I want to get only the year total in this one now I have the total year so if you remember let us just see in this one my year is 2014 and client is X total and then the total amount so that's all I need and then I have 2015 total and the total amount okay so the same what I need is I want to create 2014 X total and all quarter total into it okay so this is how I got in my second data frame so I have two data frame now cross tab about which contains total like everything just it is missing these yearly totals and then I got the yearly total in this cross tab about one and then I just need to concatenate so for concatenating there is a uh, you can say method called panda dot concatenate so I will just pass my both the data frames and if I do now I have will have result concatenation so result concatenation if you see it's exactly the same like I have at the to like bottom these one so if I sort it I will get the output okay if I sort this guy F9 and double click again so here you see I get my total of years and total at the end so now the same script I can execute in my SQL server so I have one more example ready here what I did till this for example you are all clear I just did the cross tab then I got the cross tab for only years like year and then I just got for each term I got the totals then I'm doing the concatenation sorting my result set and reset index as I told you it won't have uh, you can say proper column name so this is important in our case like when we are doing cross tab so it is reset index will convert that into row like in proper columns and then we have to supply our result concatenate to my output as my output is again getting written by this result like result sets with the result sets and we are renaming the columns and I will have the similar output in my SQL server so here you see my output is exactly the same what I got from there now the main thing for this lecture was to explain you the same thing which takes so complex query to do the same task in SQL Server we have a similar function in Python which can do that same task in one liner so if you remember like here if I just do F9 and my cross tab is ready okay the same matrix it's ready I don't have to do a lot of complex operations so that's why this lecture I want to explain you where you can use this Python in SQL Server where you have a complex query for data processing and which can be done easily by Python script so you can use it now one more thing if you are first time running your Python script you will get an error the error is something like that this external script is disabled on this instance so just you need to run this query and it will enable it I hope you like the video if you have any question please contact me feel free to contact me these are my contact details my name is Yogesh Mehala my, my email id is yogesh.mehala at gmail.com you can contact me on my phone number through whatsapp also it's okay and, I'm, uh, you, and for the scripts which I have used in throughout the lecture just mention your email id in the uh, you can say comment section I will mail it to you thank you if you have any question please feel free to contact me bye bye